Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Much love to the entire Red Dead Redemption 2 community. This Saturday, we're going to have the first ever horse show in Red Dead Online. So make sure to subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when it begins. You can join up on both Xbox One and PS4. Don't miss it. In today's episode, we're going to look at the top five horses in Red Dead Online. There's a lot to choose from. Let me know in the comment section below which one you ride around on. But today we'll give you the official list, the top five horses that you should purchase in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. With that said, make sure to hit the like button. That really helps out the video. Much love and huge shout out to Trippy, Amy, and September. They're going to help us out. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. The number five horse, the Turkoman. I will point out that at the time of this recording, the most recent DLC is the Moonshiner update. Chances are they're going to add bigger and better horses in the future, but they did add a new horse with the Moonshiner update, and that one did make the list. We'll look at that one coming up. The number five is the Turkman. This one is the Dark Bay Turkman. Now, this is September's. If we were looking at it as her, you would see the bars there with the speed and acceleration. That would actually be ranked up, and you're also going to have one of the best saddles on the horse to make sure it's at its highest peak as far as statistically. But there is a look, guys. This one is a beast. One thing I noticed with the Turkman, you can run straight towards a tree. Most of the time, you're going to fall off. But with the Turkman, a lot of times it'll kind of deflect off. That's a huge help for anybody trying not to crash in the trees. So let's take a look at the Turkman in the stable. Here are your options. Now, keep in mind that different colors and different coats of horses have different stats. Now, in this case, all three are the same. So you have three options. The gold for 950 the Dark Bay for 925 and if you want one of the most rare horses in all of Red Dead, you can get the Silver Turkoman, 38 gold. The problem is it doesn't have any better stats than the other two, but it is a strong horse, especially considering you can get it fairly early. It's a good bang for your buck, the Gold and the Dark Bay Turkoman coming in at number five. Here we go, we're mounted up. Looks like it started raining out here, but that shouldn't affect the test run. So we're just going to ride around Blackwater. I did notice that this horse is extremely responsive. You know, that's why you can avoid collisions. Other horses probably have terrible response. And you go straight into wagons. Not the case with the Dark Bay Turkman. And for that reason, it is highly recommended. I have the next horse right here. At number four is the Arabian. Now, this is the White Arabian. I'll point out that the Black Arabian is actually slightly better. But it's extremely expensive. We'll look at that in a moment. This horse is beautiful. The one thing holding it back is that it's very skittish, so it might be fast and nimble, but if you come across an alligator or a cougar, it's going to throw you off right away. It will not hesitate. Where some of these other horses, you'll be surrounded by a pack of wolves, and they won't care at all. They won't throw you off. So for that, we do have to dock it. I know a lot of you guys love the Arabian. Again, it's very fast, maybe the fastest, so for that, it comes in at number four. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Black Arabian maybe the rarest horse in the entire game. So if you want to buy it, you're going to have to pay some serious gold. You can find it under Superior. It has its own class. The White Arabian is 850 bucks. The Black Arabian is a whopping 42 gold. So there is a difference. You can see it's very slight. I don't know if I can justify spending 42 gold. I think there's better horses for a lot cheaper. The Red Chestnut, I think, is free on PS4, so it's a good beginner horse. But remember, these are some of the most skittish horses in the game. They might be fast, but that just means they're going to knock you off and run away and get out of your sight before you even know it. Now, unfortunately, we probably won't get attacked, so we won't show off how skittish it really is. But if you're looking for the most fun horse to ride on and the best way to get from point A to point B, the fastest method, it is probably the Arabian. I'm probably going to buy the Black Arabian soon just to try it out. It's extremely expensive, but we got to do it. We got to get it for the trippy profile. That said, let's move on to the number three horse, which is the Nakoda. Here it is. I have to say, this is one of the most rare horses in the game. I barely ever see anybody with this one. The Reverse Dapple Roan Nakoda. Remember, if you get the Nakoda, make sure to get this style, as the other two aren't very impressive at all. Now, one of the big differences compared to the Arabian, with this one being so fast, it is a racing horse. But it is not skittish at all. In fact, it's very sturdy. Definitely one of my top picks, guys. Let's take a look at it in the stable. We do have this horse as part of the Hobo Life playthrough that's exclusively here at the channel on PS4. You can join up. Make sure to check that out as everything is live. So you got the Blue Roan, 
the white roan, as you can see, they're pretty weak. And then the reverse dapple roan, 18 gold, but the stats are definitely worth it. Once you upgrade it fully, it's one of the best horses in the game. Let's take it for a test drive. I cannot wait for this. Once again, I have to give a huge thanks to September and Amy. They were a big help on compiling the list. So if you have any disagreement on the top five, make sure to take it up with them. Now let's try out Amy's Nakoda. Now as far as looks are concerned, I think this is one of the best looking horses in the game. I love the pitch black face, the gray coat, you know, with the black tail there. It really looks good. And it's one of the more easy horses to ride on. You'll never be kicked off. It's very quick. So as far as just getting around, if you just want an easy, standard horse, you're going to have to fork up the 18 gold, but it is definitely worth it. Look at this, man. It's very convenient to have the Nakoda and really not have to worry about getting kicked off or being slower than anybody else. It's one of the better all-around horses for sure. Here we have the number two horse in all of Red Dead Online, the Brindle Thoroughbred. In my opinion, it might be the best looking horse, as to me it kind of looks like a zebra. The stats don't really jump out at you right away, but this one is a dream. It's the best all-around horse other than the number one, but it's fast. You can go straight towards a tree. Chances are it'll just bounce off. Extremely sturdy, good acceleration. As I said, it's really probably the best all-around horse that you can find. Now the Moonshiner update added a beast we got to look at that one but let's head back to the stable to take a look at the stats of the thoroughbred you can find the thoroughbred right next to nakoda under race the blood bay is terrible the dapple gray horrible but the brindle is extremely good you can see the stats shoot up and again maybe some of the circle stats there with the lightning bolt and the heart aren't the best but considering the other stats and the sturdiness of the horse you know, it really makes up for it. I gotta recommend it, guys. You'll have the best looking horse and maybe the best all around horse. Let's take a quick test drive and go to the real number one. We originally bought this horse to celebrate Christmas. We named him Dasher, gave him a green and red saddle, but I was pleasantly surprised. In fact, he's probably my favorite horse that I've purchased so far. Now, he's about to be replaced on this profile with the number one horse, but we will bust him out every Christmas. He is worthy, Dasher. You are in the Hall of Fame of horses. Again, let me know what you guys think about the number two and especially the number one horse, a brand new horse that came with the Moonshiner update. Here comes the number one horse currently in all of Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, the new Norfolk Roadster. Talk about a beast. I thought that the horses couldn't get better. And then when I finally rode this thing for the first time, I knew right away this is clearly the number one. And the interesting thing about the Roadster is right off the bat, it is probably better than all the rest. Normally you have to rank them up to bond level four. Even the best horses at bond level one still are a little bit janky. But in this one's case, it is top notch from the first moment you ride it. So there it is. Looks like September has a Norfolk Roadster named Bubbles. I think the other ones were named Mojo, Jojo, and Blossom or something like that. Buttercup. I see what you're doing there, September. So the Norfolk Roadster, dappled buckskin. Now, of course, you have the different options. You have to rank up to level 20 in the Moonshiner roll. You can find the newest horse under Multi. Special honorary mention to Breton, Criollo, and Clodruber. Also very excellent horses, but the Norfolk Roadster is the best. Once you get ranked 20, you can get either the Spotted Tricolor or the Dappled Buckskin Norfolk Roadster. Now, here's a cool fact. Apparently, from what I hear... From our resident horse expert, Little Miss Redneck, she tells me that the Norfolk Roadster is actually extinct. So we can have an extinct horse in Red Dead Online. I think that's pretty cool. So the dappled buckskin, that's what we'll try out. We're about to purchase the spotted tricolor Norfolk Roadster here on the Xbox One. We're going to do that in the next live stream, so don't miss that. I need your help on what we're going to actually name the horse. Now let's try out the dappled buckskin. Here it is, the Norfolk Roadster, the best horse by far in all of Red Dead Online. Rockstar outdid themselves with this one. Now keep in mind, guys, two tips with your horse. Make sure to have a good saddle. Have one of the better saddles to pair up with your horse. And, of course, rank it up to bond level four. Once you do that, if you pick one of the horses from this list, then you'll have one of the best horses in the game. And if you get rank 20 with the Moonshiner... I recommend go ahead and purchase the Norfolk Roadster. It doesn't even cost any gold. 
Again, though, guys, let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Number one horse, the Norfolk Roadster, the newest horse. So the question is, will we get more horses that are even better than this? I did put up a video predicting some future horses here in Red Dead, so I'll put a link in the description. Check that out. I gotta say, the horses are one of the best parts of the entire game. I've noticed many people play Red Dead Redemption online strictly for the horses. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun making it. Stay tuned. We have another big episode on the way covering one of the biggest mysteries in all of Red Dead Redemption 2. And remember, you guys can hit me up anytime on Twitter at TrippyComs. I'll put a link in the description to that as well. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you're having a good 2020 so far. And much love to Rockstar. Hopefully they can deliver much more here in Red Dead Online. Stay tuned, and as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?